guys. Okay, so let's talk about this this partnership. How did the how did you two come together? Uh, well, we've known each other for years because of Sunny. Um, Meg's one of our executive producers. Um, came in on season twelve of Sunny, <gasps> and so I'd i had only <laughs> been like watching it... Rob for a dozen years yeah. before I met him. Mm -hmm. um, so that wasn't a power dynamic at all when I came into the room. Well, you were pretty busy at the time too. Yeah, I it's was. It's not working. like you just like graduated from college and moved on over. No, but I was trying to get on Sunny for about. Seven years before I. We, uh, that's the that's the most distressing part is that we were looking like l actually calling agents and being like, we know Megan Gans isn't available. Who do you have that's like Megan Gans? And somehow it wasn't being translated yeah. to her or communicated to her that we were. And meanwhile, I was going. Sunny's never hiring ever. Like right. they never. It seems like they For would go years. through writers. So have you pulled her? Are you done with Sunny? And is this your full time oh, thing, no. or is this I, you just both going to go back and I forth? I want to do both. In fact, I said when when Rob came to me with the idea of Mythic Quest and they were starting to work on it, I was like, this isn't going to interfere with Sunny because I'm not doing it. <laughs> so yeah. when did you start thinking up a, a show about this? And so, where did you find the time well, to Well, we were approached <laughs> by uh, Ubisoft, the gaming studio, mm -hmm. who wanted to do a show that took place in the gaming uh, world. And I didn't really have that much interest just because, I don't know, I guess my mind went to things that I had seen in this space before um, that, uh, I don't know, it always felt like they took a different tone than the kind of things that we were interested in doing uh, now. Uh, most specifically, that it seemed like it, that it was always in in service of making fun of the industry or the players themselves. And I thought, that's just not really going to work. And so I wasn't 100% interested. They said, well, why don't you just come up uh, to, the, to our studio in Montreal and check check it out and see how, how the process works. And so I went up there. I mean, within 15 minutes, I was like, we have to do a show about this. Wow. So what yeah. you saw there helped formulate this. Yes. Well, I, I, one of the first people I met um, was a gentleman, middle-aged gentleman, and uh, he had a big big beard, and, and he was walking with a cane, even though he clearly didn't need a cane. I think it was just sort of an accoutrement. And I said, uh, hello. He said, hello. I said, so what do you do? He said, I'm a creative director. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. What is a creative director? And he sort of like looked out into the distance and like took a, mo like a moment, and he said, I build worlds. And I was like, can you, can you excuse me for one second? And I left and I called Charlie and I was like, we need to do a show about these people. That, this guy is incredible. But here's the thing, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. They are building worlds, mm -hmm. which is really cool. And there's a tremendous amount of responsibility because the industry itself is huge, massive, global. It dwarfs our industry. And you have these people who are expect these players, these users who are expecting something of large mm -hmm. scope. And so you have these massive egos with people that say, I can do that job. And they come in and they can. And all of the um, personality traits that come along with it uh, and baggage uh, is what we really like looked into to make the show. So why when did you decide that you wanted to play Ian? Um, probably a little bit later in the process. Yeah, I feel like you were floundering on it and I was like pushing him. I was like, it should be you. Like, it should be. Um, but we were talking about some different options for a while and like some of those sounded good. But then at the end of the day, I was like, I don't know, I just felt right. And then especially once we were talking about David being David mm -hmm. and they have such a natural chemistry together already from so many years. And I was just like started being unable to envision it as, as anybody else. So See, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> I think this is part of the problem because I'm like, I could never play this. She's like, no, you could do it. I'm like, no, yeah. I don't think I could do it. And she's like, no, you could do it. I'm like, I, I really don't think I could pull it off. She's like, I don't think people will buy it. She's like, they'll buy it. Well, because, because of... You grow you know, a beard. That's you grow a beard. That's 15 all seasons fine. of of Mac, mm -hmm. how do you shed that guy? And the cool thing is like, there are still some DNA strands to this guy that sh that are shared with Mac. Sure. In the kind of like diluted intelligence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, like they think they're far smarter. Yes. Than maybe they are sometimes. Yes, but the major difference is that this guy actually has, a tr has talent. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. drive and ambition and can execute on those ideas. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that we were talking about was whether or not, um, like with Sonny, these people are trapped together by their own lack, their their own lack of success. Mm -hmm. Whereas in Mythic Quest, they're trapped together because of their massive success. And how long have you been gaming? Ooh. Well, we've. I mean, I've everybody on the staff and on the game were just of a certain generation yeah. where we grew up with it to a certain extent. Um, but now, I mean, 
I've just been I introduced to a whole new level of gaming that I'm still used to playing like old Nintendo games right. and then yeah. PlayStation certainly um, but but not a, like it, now we have all these young people and stuff that are like no you have to play this or you have to play this or you have to play that and so it's great because it's it's we can research. chalk it up to being research <laughs> and you get to go play video games for three hours a day um, can you believe how far you've come in less than two decades I mean, from a guy who, with his buddies, created a pilot, you know, out of your pockets, to Apple TV Plus. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's 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 been pretty extraordinary. I mean, I just keep making sure that I find t people that are, that are way more talented than me, and then I just like stick my claws in them, and then I hold on for dear life. She's one of them. I did the same. Okay. There we go. <laughs> well, this is gonna, this is a two-player game. Oh, Very good. so cute, Look Damien. At that. <laughs>